Hello everybody, Stoic here, back playing Undertale. And last time we fought Metaton for the first time, we explored a little more. I think I said something about exploring more after that, but I, I, just, I don't know. Uh, I went and bought... Um, uh, the empty gun and cowboy hat, because they're, I guess, the strongest thing I can have at this point. And I bought a bunch of... Um, uh, Glam Burgers. I don't know about Starfate, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. So we're going to give this another try. We're probably going to lose. So yay, fun times. Do I have to listen to this again? I'm just going to... Yeah. Cool. Oh, we even skipped the pressing the button thing. Oh. Wow, we are just, like, right into it. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that was not great. <laughs> okay. Huh? Oh. Um. I'll say... Pose, maybe? The audience nods. <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't kill any of the stupid robots. That's annoying. I am already hurt a lot. All right, let's use a glam burger. Yeah, I love the brand. Okay. Uh huh. Why am I not hitting it? This is so stupid. I can't. I can't handle all these things on screen. I can't do it. I'm gonna die again. I need more burgers. Aha! Uh, uh, excuse me. Oh. Oh. I get it now. Okay. Union regulated break. Okay. We've grown so distant, darling. How about another heart to heart? Oh. Oh boy. I really wish I could hit the heart. That'd be helpful. There we go. Oh. Your arm's off. No, it isn't. What's that then? Just a flesh wound. Let's do another ice cream. Oh, I'm just gonna need arms with legs like these. I'm still going to win, probably. The freaking hell? Excuse me? I don't know what to do about that one. I don't need to do that. Let's pose some more. Obviously, we need to get this ratings number up to a certain uh, number. Cool. Oh, I, well. Oh, what the freaking hell? Excuse me? What is this? Oh, whoops. Just gonna dodge everything. That is significantly easier. Uh, give me my hat back. Do you really want humanity to perish, or do you just believe in yourself that much? Oops. Okay, well. I just could not handle that for some reason. My brain just shat itself a little bit. It's fine. Oh, uh, well, darling, it's either me or you, but I think we both already know who's going to win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. Okay. Cool. Yo. Gonna use my unis uni unicycle there. Look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. We've reached the viewer call in milestone. One lucky viewer will have the chance to talk to me before I leave the underground forever. Let's see who calls in first. 
Hi, you're on TV. What do you have to say on this our last show? Words of wisdom. Oh, hi, Metaton. I really didn't even capitalize his name. I really can't even capitalize anything. Liked watching your show. My life is pretty boring, but seeing you on the screen brought excitement to my life. <laughs> Vicariously. I can't tell, but I guess this is the last episode. I'll miss you, Metaton. Oh, I didn't mean to talk so long. Oh. No, wait, wait. They already hung up. I'll take another caller. Okay. Metaton, your show made us so happy. Metaton, I don't know what I'll watch without you. Metaton, there's a Metaton shaped hole in my Metaton shaped heart. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, I see. Smirk. Everyone, thank you so much. Darling, perhaps it might be better if I stay here for a while. Humans already have stars and idols, but monsters, they only have me. If I left, the underground would lose its spark. I leave an aching void that can never be filled. So I think I'll have to delay my big debut. Besides, you've proven to be very strong, perhaps even strong enough to get past Asgore. I'm sure you'll be able to protect humanity. Ha ha. It's all for the best anyway. The truth is, this form's energy consumption is inefficient. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power. And, well, I'll be alright. <laughs> Knock him dead, darling. And everyone, thank you. You've been a great audience. Oh. I think I won. Yes! <laughs> thank God I was gonna die. Whoa. I managed to open the lock. Are you two? Hi. Oh my god. Dude. Metaton's sprite thing looks fabulous. Metaton! Metaton, are you... Can I leave? <laughs> Thank God, that's just the batteries. It's just the batteries. Metaton, if you were gone, I would have... I would have... I mean, hey, it's no problem. You know, he's just a robot. If you messed it up, I could always just build another. Why don't you go on ahead? Can I go back? No. Crap. Better be a save point. Oh, it's quiet. It's so not Metaton anymore. What do you want? Sorry about that. Let's keep going. I know about you. Don't try and peddle. I can't. There. Peddle. Peddle your lies to me. Dinosaur thing. Back off. Uh, eh. mm. So you're about to meet Escor, huh? You must be you must be pretty excited about all that, huh? Can I save now? And get away from you. You'll finally you'll finally get to go home. Yep. Yep. There's no save point. That's great. Bye. Wait. I mean, um, I I was just going to um say goodbye. And... I can't take this anymore. Can I leave now? I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. It takes at least a human soul and a monster soul. That's weird. All right, bye. Damn it. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. Well. Okay. I'm sorry. Alright. Well, at least you told me that. Can I... Can I save? Please. This elevator... takes a while. Just, uh... Just a little while. There we go. Oh. It's all gray and stuff. Cool. I have no way to heal myself. Oh. Hey, it's the city we saw a long time ago. The elevator isn't in use? Hmm. Of course, the city's more gray. Less purple than it was when we last saw it. 
It's also very quiet. Cool. Slowly getting brighter. And less buildings. Oh. Hey. This looks like a... Okay. Alright. Huh. Well, this is a little weird. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen, in the hallway. Oh. Okay. The flowers are the only thing colored. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the heart-shaped locket. Cool. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. You got the worn dagger. I assume these are my new... Uh, things. Hold on. So, 16, 17, 2, and 12. Oh my god. 16, 12, and 2, and 15. Huh? I, I assume these are what I should equip. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. And the fact that it's so hard to just... go back and forth from equipping is really annoying. Striped shirts? I wear a striped shirt. It's a family photograph. Everyone is smiling. There are two beds in here, by the way. I feel like there are revelations about to happen. Room under renovations. I said revelations, not renovations. Oh! A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Okay. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. In it? Did I read that wrong? What? It's a trophy. Number one, Nose Nuzzle Champs, 98. Nose Nuzzle? Clothes drawer, okay. And a pink hand knit sweater that says Mr. Dad Guy. It's a burrow. What? There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. I feel like I, I pronounced that wrong, but my brain is turned off at the moment. It's Asgore's what? His journal? All the current page says is nice day today. I think it's still almost wet. This is weird. Is Azrael Asgore? Okay. Azriel, the king's son, oh, heard the human's call. That was a guy? Okay. He brought the human back to the castle. What? This is super weird. Over time, Azriel and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. This is super weird. On my phone's keychain. Okay, that doesn't make more sense. It's very clean. Someone must use fire magic instead. Hey, I've read that before. White fur stuck in the drain. Okay. This is super weird. You know what? Alright, to the garden. A little strange that Azriel recreated his house the same as this one. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Cool. Why am I going into fights to do this? The sick human only had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Okay. The next day... The next day... The next day. The next day. Oh, I'm so Okay. The human died. Well. Great. Azrael, wrecked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. Oh. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Um. Excuse me, what? 
With the human soul, Azrael crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. What? <laughs> I don't remember these guys. Azrael reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Like, am I dead? I don't know. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But he didn't, I'm sure. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. His dust? Oh my god. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. Damn. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, will give us hope, will save us all. Uh-huh. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? No. I've never had a smile on my face this entire time. You're going to be free. Am I? Are we going with the death is freedom thing? Um... Okay, it's the elevator. Is the elevator just to go back? Yeah. But I can't... I don't know. <laughs> also, no music. Also, I've seen that before. This is very cinematic. Shading and everything. Oh. Yo! What's up, man? How's it going, Sans? What you doing? Can I... So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you'll be judged. You'll be judged for your every action. You'll be judged for every XP you've, ex you've earned. What's XP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. Ooh. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. Hey, I tried to save as many as I could. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. <laughs> A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt the more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And considering what you've done, what will you do now? Take a moment to think about this. Well, shit. I don't know. <laughs> That's my answer. I don't know. Still just waiting here. Cool. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you said. All that's important is that you were honest with yourself. What I'm <laughs> honest, I don't know. <laughs> what happens now, we'll leave up to you. Cool. And now he's gone. Okay. Do I have to fight the king? Or am I done? Was Metaton the last fight? Throne room. Another save point. Okay. Throne entrance. What's over here?
I don't know. I feel like I maybe shouldn't go this way. Now the mu music has stopped. I don't know if I should keep going or if I should pause. Hmm. I will see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay frosty when we finish the game. There we go. Oh, your arm's off. No, it isn't. What's that then? Just a flesh wound. <laughs>